peace and recite beautiful platitudes. All the efforts at building peace before, during, and after the 2024 elections would come to naught or be undermined if there is mistrust and insincerity. Mistrust is built through a mismatch between words and gaslighting on the part of those in authority. There is reason to be concerned that the signing of this pact, though well-intentioned, could amount to nothing if it is not followed by concrete actions to guarantee the peace by the stakeholders and government. Events and happenings during the last election and during the Awaso West Wagon by-election create considerable doubts about the genuineness of some of the commitments that we might make today. We all recall the appalling, appalling spectacle of mass men acting on the orders of operatives of government, shooting indiscriminately at innocent Ghanaians, going about their legitimate electoral activity during that by election. Some of the victims of that shooting incident remain incapacitated up till now. The refusal by government to act on the recommendations of the Emil Short Committee do not inspire confidence in Ghanaians that government truly believes in peace. Again, the inaction of government in the face of the murder of eight of our citizens during the last election casts a shadow of doubt on government's commitment to maintain the peace. How are we to believe that such killings will not reoccur during this election as well? There also remains the vexed question of the use of thugs dressed in security service uniforms to intimidate and brutalize citizens during elections. How can we tell these thugs from the professional members of the security services, especially when they carry no name tags and they conceal their faces with facial masks, popularly called Azugu masks. I'll suggest to the IGP to instruct the arrest and detention of any such persons during the election and to be kept until the election is over. These are legitimate questions that must satisfactorily be accounted for to give true meaning to this peace pact, lest it remains just a piece of paper. Mm -hmm.